All right, so now it's time for the luggage test. I have to my right my C7. This is my C7 Grand Sport Coupe. And I have our tester here. This is the C8 Stingray Coupe. So I have the C7 loaded with all kinds of goodies, including two carry-ons, my hockey bag, as well as my two hockey sticks. I have all that loaded into my C7. Let's see what fits into the C8. I should probably open that up before I start. Okay, so we definitely can fit one of the carry-ons, like so. And we should be able to fit the second carry-on, like so, into the rear luggage compartment. And that's just about it. There's a little bit of space here to the right remaining, maybe for uh, a few small items, a couple of water bottles. And the same thing holds true for the left side uh, of the luggage compartment here in the back. However, we still have a hockey bag. I'm not sure what to do with that here. So I definitely can't put it in the front. Uh, that's too small. So what I would have to do if I wanted to put my hockey bag in here is take these out. Let's see if the hockey bag fits. There it is, standard issue hockey bag. Weighs quite a bit. That ain't gonna fit. And it's also not gonna fit in the front. So the only way I can really make my hockey bag fit in here is if I take all the stuff out, dump it out into this rear luggage compartment here, and then once I get to the rink or wherever I'm gonna be playing my game, I would have to take it all back out, put it into the hockey bag, on the ground and uh, do it that way, which, you know, just depends on how far you're willing to go to sacrifice driving one of these. I also have my hockey sticks, which in the C7, they fit perfectly across this way. I have them here and I can't, probably won't be able to put them in into the trunk here either. So these would have to essentially go into the cabin they don't fit at all into the rear cargo area here whatsoever. They're just a bit too long. And I'm not the tallest guy out there, so I don't have the tallest sticks either. So anyone who's, who's taller, they probably will have the same kind of issue uh, if you're doing that. However, if we make our way over to the front, let's see how that works out. We have a standard issue ski boot bag here. I have that. I can fit that in there just fine. That fits. So this is good enough for a duffel bag of some kind, a ski boot bag, maybe even a couple of backpacks. Let's see if I can fit the carry-on in here. Standard issue carry-on. Whoop. So that fits just perfectly right into the front so you can definitely fit a carry-on in here shut it does it shut yep and there's still a bit of a little, a little bit of room on top of it for a small duffel bag a toiletry kit what have you so that is the cargo story of the c8 corvette with the frunk so the stingray uh, there might be other models in the future that won't have this such as the e-ray and the zora they're not expected to have a frunk at all. It will just be the rear cargo area back there. So even though, yeah, you do have two storage areas, two cargo areas between the frunk and the rear storage compartment, um, they are quite a bit smaller from a volume standpoint, cumulative volume standpoint, than the C7.